It's a gender inclusive guitar. It's super ergonomic so that if you happen to have a breast or two of them, it's very comfortable. You can have the house in Connecticut, but I'm keeping the condo on the Upper East Side. At face value, a name like St. Vincent could, could sort of seem like highfalutin, but for me, it was really about the kind of hilarity and humiliation that it takes to be an artist. Like, because you have to get comfortable with being bad at things so that you can become good at them. Musicians tend to be like kind of down to earth in a way because you start in a, a minivan and then you maybe bump up to a 12 passenger van and then you maybe bump up to a tour bus if you're lucky and if you're like the 1% you like have a private plane or something but if you take yourself too seriously you really will not survive. You will not survive. I had dinner around here on the water um, with David Byrne, because I was touring here with him, and his percussionist now plays in the Red Hot Chili Peppers. So I had like dinner with the Red Hot Chili Peppers, which was kind of a childhood dream. Like Cruella de Vil meets Kandinsky. I'd written this orchestral piece ages ago and got to like hear an orchestra play it. It's crazy. It was one of those shows that I feel like could never happen again because just all the stars aligned for us to be able to pull it off the one time. Every record I've made has more or less a kind of archetype. Strange Mercy was like Housewife on Pills, and the record I did with David Byrne was Beauty and the Beast. The last record was like near future cult leader, and then this record's like dominatrix at the mental institution. Sexy, but very arch and very, very absurd too. This record's about power. The seduction on a big scale and on a little scale, you know, political seduction or sexual seduction or the seduction of, of chemicals and drugs and, and all that, it's, it's kind of like broad strokes of the record. You know, for me, any, any success has been kind of slow and steady, I would say. I still have the same priorities and the same friends and, this, you know, my life hasn't changed very much. So it's hard to know if I've changed around it. Flashback and I'm like wiping my nose with hundred dollar bills. I've often kind of referred to making, um, making this guitar like, sort of like making a really well tailored suit. It is based on like 20 years of playing guitar and also 10 years of being on the road. So this is a, where the whammy bar goes and it's wanting to go in but not quite going in. We're good. Okay, so that's the whammy bar. And the great thing about this guitar is that you can like, and it stays in tune. So you like, I wrote a whole song on the record that's just like, just all about this dive bomb. I feel very much that once a record is done, it's not for me anymore. It's, it's for other people to interpret and, and put into their own lives as they see fit.